This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Domain.com. Matt Marilyn wrote in, as a YouTube reviewer, I have been using a cheap stereo microphone and a Canon Vixia HF200. This setup has worked great for years, but as I'm now moving in front of the camera, I need to upgrade my microphone. Mm. Would you recommend either a shotgun mic or a wireless microphone? My goal is to not have the mic visible to the viewer and to have clear sound. Any suggestions are welcome. Matt in Baltimore, Maryland. That's exciting. Um, before we get too far into it, there are a couple of things that you should probably need to understand. Um, both a shotgun microphone and a wireless wireless lavalier, uh, the kind of microphone that Pat and I use, for example, and right here on the show, are designed to pick up audio, um, obviously. Although it seems they do the same thing, there's a pretty big difference there, and that difference is pickup pattern. A pickup pattern, also called polar uh, pattern or directionality, is the range and scope of area that a microphone will pick up audio. Um, a shotgun microphone, like this one, for example, will pick up not only audio from a subject, but also adjacent sound as well. Um, it's popular for narrative work like movies and TV shows, where you want to include some of that ambient environment mental right. noise to add to the overall feel, the ambience of, of the dialogue, stuff that's happening around you. Yeah, because it's weird if somebody's like, obviously has traffic going by or if you can see mm -hmm. cars going by, but there's no sound from the cars. Sometimes it's weird because they'll do that right. and like it will be very quiet and then they'll move to another shot and suddenly the <sighs> ambience ends. Never mind. I, you notice hard. those kinds of things eventually. Um, lavs are more preferred in situations where getting a particular person's audio is paramount right here for like my, my audio, for example. It's pointed right up at my mouth. Um, examples would be <laughs> news anchors, daytime. Uh, ironically, it's pointed 90 is it? degrees. Oh. <laughs> so is yours. So is oh, mine. Oh, no, yours is up now. Okay, that's better. No, 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 mine's, mine's pointed away from my Well, face. it's general. I kind of right. talk sideways. But they are, notice they're pointed away from each other. The idea is yes. to minimize Veronica's mic gets as little mm -hmm. of my voice as possible. My mic gets as little as of Veronica's voice as possible. Yeah, so they're really great for interviews or right. tech shows, for example. <laughs> um, so the question you need to ask is what kind of audio are you after? Right. Do you want to shoot more informational content like an interview or are you looking to create a narrative or you know a story where ambient audio is key? Um, personally, I would say go for the wireless lob if you're just going to be shooting at home doing product reviews. Um, so we're assuming that you're keeping the uh, Vixia HF200. Um, so uh, the downside here is that you only have that stereo mini jack going into right. the Vixia. Um, so you'll need to get a mic that uses that or an XLR to mini adapter, um, which are pretty easy to find. You can get them on Amazon um, with no, no problem, really. Let's see, uh, wireless mics for your camera. So you were talking about wireless mics, too. These, I, I'm not a huge fan of these. Uh, Canon makes a wireless yeah. microphone set. They're kind of big, they're kind of bulky. The batteries run out pretty quickly. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of those. Um, it, it's kind of on the big side. There's just better lavs out there that you can clip onto yourself. And there's actually a great comparison over on um, BH, uh, BH Photo about the different kinds of lavaliers. They have a whole guide mm -hmm. that shows you uh, what kinds you need, what kinds you would want. Um, it'll show you the pickup patterns of the different microphones. Um, I was surprised. I didn't know the Audio Technicas were cardioid. Um, cardioid looks like that, looks like a butt, kind of. Actually, it looks like a heart, that's why it's called cardioid. Um, but that's, that's yeah, that, that's. But it doesn't, the idea though is that is if, if the mic's pointed this way, the cardioid mic doesn't pick up a lot of sound from behind the microphone. Um, do us a favor, don't buy a microphone that's only gonna work with your camera unless you just bought that camera and you plan on owning yeah. it for a bunch of years. Cause there's nothing more frustrating than like getting a really nice mic, getting things set up, and then being like, you know, it's time to upgrade my camera and then having to get rid of all of the microphone system. Um, wireless usually costs more. Cheap wireless usually is cheap and makes your life miserable. Yeah, I wouldn't go for, for wireless personally. I right. don't think you need it. Um, I think you're going to get better results with a wired uh, with a wired love, mm -hmm. for example. Um, I'm a big fan of, of Sennheiser. Uh, the uh, Audio Technicas are nice. Mm -hmm. um, Sennheisers are pretty much the industry standard, right. I would say, for, for loves. Um, but if you want to go out and do like man on the street kind of kind of interviews <laughs> and stuff, like a shotgun mic is going to be great for that. Right. So you don't have to fiddle with getting a love on someone. Or a stick mic. Yeah, or a stick mic, of course, too. Um, but if you choosing between those two different styles. Mm -hmm. If you want to go out on the road a little bit more and kind of break out right. of your in-studio, in in-house kind of reviewing stuff, then a shotgun might be good for that. But for you, just sitting at your house in front of your microphone, in front of your camera, and you want something that's going to be invisible, loves are the way to go. Get a love. Yes. Well, we have more of your emails still to come, but right now, let's thank one of our sponsors. Need a new domain name? Consider registering a new .com. We all know that the .com domain name is the original and the best. It's globally understood and it gives your website immediate credibility no matter what name you choose. And the best place to find a new .com domain is at domain.com. Here at Techzilla, we like domain.com because they're affordable, reliable, and they're easy to use. 
Plus, Domain.com's active social media presence on Twitter, at Domain.com, and their great customer support makes it a fun place to do business. Not enough? What about an awesome coupon code with a big 20% discount off of Domain.com's already low prices? All you need to do is use the coupon code TECHZILLA when you check out at Domain.com. And that's 20% off, folks. Big time savings. And please don't forget, give the TechZilla coupon code some love. And when you think about domain names, think Domain.com. And that's a .com, 